You're putting fingerprints on my windows? Oh, that's, that's not, that. not allowed. It's not allowed. No, that was one of the rules when my children were. Really? They never touched, never touched the window because it, it's. So I'm not allowed to touch the window. You don't touch the window. You don't touch the window. You don't touch the window. And if you think that's awkward, wait until you see what's coming up. But before we dive into this crazy video, let's take a few steps back and understand some very important context. So this is Mark, he's 58 years old and he's from the US. When I get out of bed, the first thing I do is look in the mirror and I always say, you're a specimen. What did you say? You wanna see that again? Okay, sure. You're a specimen. 27 years ago, I actually met my ex-wife and brought her here on a K-1 visa. She was Filipino from Cebu. She had four children. She changed radically. She no longer wanted to be a primary caregiver. She wanted her independence and she wasn't happy. So we were separated and I got left raising four children in diapers. I needed some time to um, sort things out. But I do feel sorry for this guy at this point, despite his character, nobody deserves this. And to be honest, raising four kids on your own must really take it out on you, and I mean mentally. So big respect to him for that. But nevertheless, he clearly has a type of woman that he goes for. So let's find out more about her. I met Nikki first online through a free dating site. Nikki lives on the outskirts of Cebu City in the Philippines, which is where my ex-wife is from. Nikki is young. She is 19. Young, young, young. You can probably see the red flags already. So she is only 19, which it turns out is younger than all of his kids. Also, she comes from the same hometown as his ex. It's too early to say, but it looks to me like he hasn't let his past go. So what does he do? He flies over to Cebu, and after two days, he proposes. Yeah, it's not the most genius move. I don't know, something just overcame me. I got down on my left knee, and I, I asked her to marry me. And I put the zip tie on her finger, and that zip tie is still there. A few moments later. How old is she? She's 19. She lied about her age, Jack. Yeah, she told me she was 16. So Nikki arrives in the US and all seems to be going really, really well. You're putting fingerprints on my windows? Oh, that's that's not, not, not allowed. That's not allowed. No, that was one of the rules when my children were. Really? They never touched never touch the window. because it's. So I'm not allowed to touch the window? You don't touch the window. You don't touch the window. Because you have to clean them then. You, <laughs> you're making trouble. Do you want me to be happy, Nikki? Did you want, Nikki, you're messing with, Nikki, you're messing with my happiness. Uh, I, I can't wipe it. I'm in my no, clothes. No, 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 we'll get you a towel to wipe it, okay? I might have spoken too soon with a whole it seems to be going really well statement. You can clearly see the difference in attitude. Nikki is young and playful and Mark is the complete opposite. Imagine dating someone and they turn around to say to you, you're messing with my happiness. Mark later goes on to say that she's immature, but dude, she's 19 years old. You're trying to have a relationship with a 19 year old and she's just got to the US for the first time in her life. Mark and I have been arguing because he wants me to decide whether for one kids before the 90 days over. You see this is one of the biggest problems that you will face if you end up dating a woman who is a lot younger than you are. Mark here has had his life, he's got his family and he doesn't want any more kids. If you've ever been in a serious relationship with a woman from the Philippines who doesn't have any kids you will know that in most cases it's only a matter of time before she wants to start a family. I say this because it is a big issue that so many expats experience. Everything is great at the start, but as the months pass, do you and her share the same vision for the future? I uh, no, never tried drive, driving a car before. I can't even learn driving in the Philippines because the streets are very not safe. See, you got a, a big pedal right here. This is not on, right? No, it's not on, but see, there's a big pedal here, right? Stop. No, 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 you don't use that foot. You use the same foot to stop and the same foot to go. <laughs> you look pretty good in it. Thank you so much, but I need to learn how to drive. <laughs> well, no, you can drive me home. I'm 
going to drive you home now? Yeah, it's just around the corner. No, 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 no. you can do it. <laughs> Nikki might only be 19, but it's clear to see that she's got more brain cells. I had bought the same car for my ex-wife. It was for her to get around, though, because she liked the car. Damn, look at that face. Okay, so I'm 99% sure that this guy is stuck in the past trying to rekindle history. But let's fast forward. Nikki tries to help Mark around the house, so decides to clean the bookshelf, but Mark isn't too pleased. So for the whole 90 days leading up to this wedding, their relationship is filled with highs and lows. But in the end, they finally got married on the beach. But what happened after the show is even more confusing. From looking through the internet, there are so many rumours about this couple. Nikki cannot be found online, which has led to a lot of speculation. There was an apparent lawsuit from the couple because Mark wasn't too happy of how their story was portrayed on the TLC show. There was an application for divorce which was apparently declined. Mark's divorce claim was accusing Nikki of cheating on him. But according to a publication that Mark has allegedly spoke to, they are not divorced and they are not separated. But there are many good and bad stories floating around the internet, but not everybody is happy about men going to Southeast Asia for dating purposes. And so check out this video where I find out why so many American women are going crazy over men finding girlfriends and wives overseas.